What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the ER Forum. So in today's video, I wanted to discuss purchasing homes and uh, why I decided not to buy a house when I was a registered nurse. Welcome to the episode. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode. So right now I am doing a little bit of studying. We actually just got out of an anatomy lecture. Um, we have a pathophysiology exam coming up tomorrow morning. And so I'm doing some studying for that. But I wanted to make a quick video for you guys discussing purchasing homes. I had someone ask me a week ago why I didn't buy a house when I was working as a registered nurse. You know, I, I think well, first, let me answer the question. So there's two main reasons as to why I didn't purchase a home when I was working as a nurse. Number one being that I needed to go back to school. So for those of you guys who do not know or are new to the channel, I graduated nursing school. I spent two and a half years working in the emergency department in Las Vegas as a registered nurse. I have now got accepted into PA school. I've done six months worth of PA school. So the number one reason why I didn't purchase a home is because I knew I was going back to school. I had to further my education. It's what I wanted it to do for me. And... Um, for me, it just didn't make sense. It wasn't feasible to purchase a home when I knew I had to go back to school. Who would pay that mortgage, right? We will go further into detail about that in a second. The second reason is because I didn't really have the money to. All the money that I saved up was to be invested in myself and my education versus to go towards a down payment. Again, we'll circle back to this and go into greater detail. You know, the biggest issue with us as human beings is that we tend to compare ourselves to other people. We're constantly, either consciously or unconsciously, in competition with other people. We're in this rat race, and it's very easy to do that. And doing that is going to result in negative outcomes 100% of the time. Let me tell you why. Everybody's story is different. Everybody's direction is different. There are some people who were in my program who were 22 years old. There's other people who are 40 plus years old. Their paths are different. I'm 26 years old, there's people who are my current age, there's people who are a little older than me, there are people who are younger than me. Our paths are completely different. So if you compare yourself to people, you're going to lose every time because their paths are different. And so I graduated nursing school, I was 23 years old, I was making decent money, I definitely could afford to buy a house, and everyone that I graduated nursing school with, well maybe not everyone, but many people that I graduated nursing school with have already purchased homes. That's their path. I couldn't purchase a home because I was going back to school. They didn't. It, it's different. And so you can't necessarily compare us because our paths are completely different. The argument people have with me not purchasing a home is valid. It's a valid one. It's just not valid for me specifically. Could I have purchased a home when I graduated nursing school? Yes. I financially could afford to purchase a home when I was 23 years old. The reason I didn't is the reason I explained earlier, because I knew I needed to go back to school. A lot of people argue, well, Kenan, you could have purchased a home and then rented it out to people and um, allow them to pay your mortgage while you were going through PA school. And that's true. I could have. It's just a gamble I was not willing to take. What happens if there's no one to rent the house and pay the mortgage that I need to pay every month? I'm not adding another layer of complexity that I did not want in my life while I was going through PA school. I'm also signing over to be hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of property debt, including debt from PA school. So I'd have two huge debts combined when I finished. So it just wasn't feasible for me to do that. A lot of people say, well, you could have rented it out to somebody and then when you graduated PA school, sold the house, gained equity, and put that equity into a new home. This is also true, again, it's just not gambles that I'm willing to make. So the number one gamble that I'm willing to make are all investments in myself because I know I will succeed 100% of the time. Real estate fluctuates. And overall, real estate is an investment, but it's not a better investment than myself. And so when you're comparing whether I should invest in real estate or invest in myself, I'm going to win that battle every time. So that's the first reason as to why I did not purchase a home. The second reason, the savings. So a lot of people say, Kanan, you could have put all that money that you saved as a nurse and place a down payment on a home that's going to gain equity. Again, another risk I'm just not willing to take. For me, the biggest investment that I can do for my future self is to get work done that I need right now. And right now, what I wanted to do 
was further my education. And so these are all possible outcomes that could have happened. The reason people are having these debates with me is because their situations are different. They see life in a different way than I do. And that's okay. They're not right or wrong. I'm not right or wrong. So the only person you should be in competition with is yourself. I see people buying homes right now. I see people gaining the equity that they sought out for. I see people doing these things. And I'm back in PA school and I've actually gone backwards, right? I'm negative in terms of my finances. And that's okay for me because I'm willing to take one step back to gain three steps forward. That's kind of the way I look at life. Um, it's the same way I looked at life when I went to college, right? So a lot of people that I know from high school didn't do that. They didn't invest in themselves in terms of going to college or starting their own business or whatever it was. And at the time, it didn't seem as if what I was doing would pay forward. But again, I took a step back. I went back to school, to nursing school, took a step back to gain three steps forward. Then I graduated nursing school. I had a good paying job that was consistent, that gave me health insurance, et cetera, and afforded me the ability to purchase a home if I wanted to. So the point of this video is that everybody's life's different. You can't compare your life to someone else's because their tracks are different. Some people purchase a home when they're 23. Other people wait to purchase a home when they're 33. It's the same reason how some people have children earlier some people like to wait for those things it all depends on you and it's specific to you so there's no right or wrong answer but that's essentially the answer to the question why I didn't purchase a home when I was working as a registered nurse for me I would rather invest that money in myself and my education I can buy a home whenever I want houses aren't going anywhere I'm gonna finish PA school and then I will purchase the home it's gonna be a different timeline than someone else and that's okay because I'm not on their timeline I'm on my timeline so Keep that in mind when you're going through life in regards to anything. You're on your path, they're on their path. There is no comparison between the two. For me, I would have purchased a home at 23, had the home, didn't go to PA school. Or I could have not purchased a home, saved up the money, went to PA school, had a higher income, and afforded the house I really wanted. It's all perception, and it's all what you want to do, and who's willing to delay gratification in the long run. So. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was articulate enough for you to understand. And um, I will continue to make videos like this that are not necessarily healthcare related, but life related because these are things that I'm figuring out as life is going on. And I wanna share them with you guys. And maybe, hopefully, my ideas change as I get older. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to punch that like button and kick that subscribe button. And uh, follow me on Instagram if you wanna see what I am doing on a day-to-day -day basis. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one.